So, tell us about the play you're doing. Well, it's this little dinner theater thing we're doing. Gonna go down to Nashville, then Akron, probably back up to Columbus. Yeah, and all the world's a stage. <laughs> <laughs> Must be a critic from the Times in the audience. <laughs> you wouldn't be laughing if you had this seat. <laughs> Something about Mondays brings out the loonies in the audience. <laughs> Must be a full moon. How true. Comedy, <laughs> ask him about his co-star. Hey, I was gonna do that. Well, my co-star is just one of the greatest ladies of the American theater. Of course, I'm talking about Annette Funicello. Is she fun to work with? Sure, sure, she's a lot of fun to work with. Hey, does she still got those big ears? <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to tell her that one. Well, you've been a great guest, and I'd love to keep talking to you, but we're out of time. It was great being here. Well, we'll be back with more right after this. All right! Woo! All right! My guest tonight is one of the quickest wits on four continents and a great improvisational actor. Who else could it be but Mr. Sammy Arthur? So, Sammy, my first question to you is this. Is it A, good to be here, B, a great pleasure, or C, other? Um, uh, C, I guess. Glad to hear it. In improvisation, do you do A, a lot of A, practicing, B, rehearsing, or C, studying your lines? Uh, I had no idea this was going to be multiple choice questions. Um, A and B. <laughs> I love you theater people. Tell me, when did you ever find time to write short stories for The New Yorker? A on your lunch hour, B in the mountains, or C at the beach? Uh, C. Oh, that's good. Does an isosceles triangle have A, one equal side, B, two equal sides, C, three equal sides, D, none of the above, E, all of the above? Let me use the scrap paper for you, Matt. Um, uh, B. Time's up. Do not go on to the next section until you are told to do so. You may check your answers as you wish. I'm staying with B. Thank you very much. Oh, guten Tag. So, Volkaninda. Um, wie viele Personen war in dem Hotel? Oui, je m'appelle Giselle. Je travaille pour le magasin de Vogue, Harper's, et Bizarre. Aussi. In welcher Stadt bist du umgestiegen? Je suis très riche, euh, une petite madame. Je... Aber vergisst du nicht, dass ein großer Mistaufen ein reicher Bauern, ja? Je travaille aussi chez la Lumière Rouge. Oh, wenn du nach Hause gehen, bist du ein, äh, oh, äh, Hahn oder ein Rad oder einer Seitstoche nehmen? J'aime l'argent, j'aime le bonheur, beaucoup, beaucoup. Ach, das ist genug. Auf Wiedersehen. Hello, would you please welcome a close friend of mine and a real drinking buddy too, Detroit rookie piston, Isaiah Thomas. <laughs> Isaiah, you're having a really great rookie season, and I'd just like to know, do you find it any different playing in the NBA than in college? I'm not Isaiah Thomas. They, they just told me to come out here. I'm so Great, Isaiah. What did it feel like being the number two pick in the draft? I, I'm the author. I'm your next guest. Are you jealous of the success of your fellow rookie teammate, Kelly Topuka? What did she write? Uh, Isaiah, tell me. Do you miss Bobby Knight's discipline at practice? Oh, oh yeah. Uh, Bobby can run a mean scrimmage. Who's the toughest player to defense in the National League? Well, overall, I'd have to say it'd be Dr. J. I mean, the man runs my butt ragged up and down the court. Thanks, Isaiah, my man. You've got some of the baddest moves in the game. <laughs> I like to think so. Stay tuned for my next guest, poetress, Miss Andrea McFlug. I'd like to welcome a multi-talented lady, a real trooper and a great performer, uh, one of the good guys, Ms. Patty Lou Page. Thank you very much. I want to tell you right now, you created one of the most enduring characters in that Nurse Stephanie bit. Oh, really? I didn't know that that had already run. <laughs> well, I saw a sneak of it in Pasadena the other night. I didn't see the whole thing, but let me tell you, uh, somebody told me you did a wild bit singing, and we just happened to have a piano. How about um, it? No, no, I would rather not. No. Oh, come on. Uh, what do you think, audience? No, no, no. Well then, how about some wild comedy? No, thank you, though. <clears throat> Come on, be a sport, kid. Forget it. <clears throat> I guess uh, Miss Patty Lou Page is just too good to perform on our show. Okay, okay, you dragged it out of me. I am a fake. The, the singing, Andy Williams. The comedy, Ryan.
Rodney Dangerfield, only they just sped up his voice. And the dancing, Disney animatronics, I'm a fake, all of it. My life is empty now, it's over. <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Miss Patty Lou Page is a fake. Film at 11. Gee, I wonder if Mike Wallace started out this way. <clears throat> Thank you for being here, Patty. Anytime. We'll never have you on this show again. <laughs> More after this.